Hi, I'm Sarah and I work with Quench on a project called Wavelength. And one of the brilliant things about that project is that we get to work with young people um, in lots of different ways. We work with them on a one-to-one -one basis um, to help build their confidence. And then we get to work with them in groups once their confidence is built um, to write songs, uh, write the music to go with those songs and then produce and record those songs. Um, Working in groups was something that was quite new to me. Um, I have worked a bit in groups before, but I've usually been um, the lead in that and I've usually set the project up myself and decided what the criteria are. Um, in this setting, there's four of us uh, working as lead artists and then there's um, people supporting us um, and learning from our practice so that they can then go on to do our jobs. Um, the group sessions at Quench are brilliant. Um, they're set up in such a way that we always have a wealth of experience in the room, both in terms of supporting mental health, but also in terms of the different types of instruments and um, musical practice that the professionals and shadows have in the room. Um, and that means that the young person within that group setting is offered this wealth of knowledge um, and the opportunity to learn lots of different instruments and lots of different styles um, and really develop their musical practice in ways that they wouldn't be able to do if we weren't working as a group in that way. And that's been brilliant for me. I've learned a lot from the process. I've learned a lot about taking support from other people. I've learned a lot about um, the importance of having other people in the room that are very skilled, um, that have a lot of experience of working with people with mental health um, and that that allows us to better support the young people in those environments. It gives us the opportunity to always be there to catch people if they need us in the room but also to uh, plan to support those people that need more help with instrument playing or more help with social interaction and it also gives the young people a really good environment uh, to build friendships and social groups and in some cases set up their own bands. Um, it's also taught me a lot um, in my personal practice. I've learnt to play the bass guitar, I've learnt more about singing and harmonies um, and I've learnt little tips about production from other people which is great for me because I've always been self-taught. Um, I've also learnt a lot about working in bands um, it's something that I haven't done a lot of before. I'm a bit scared of being a live performer um, and so I've shied away from doing that in my practice. Um, and it's taught me um, about getting young people ready to go on stage. It's taught me about the different dynamics in bands and how bands can support one another. It's taught me about different instruments within that band and how they fit into the dynamic of the song. Um, and it's given me the opportunity to work with people who do do a lot of live work and that has really improved my confidence in that field. And it's strengthened how I feel about my own practice because we do a thing called Do, Review, Improve which is uh, a peer review tool that we use with each other to tell each other where, how our practice is doing and uh, where we're doing things well and where we're doing things not so well. And although that does highlight weakness in our practice and show us the things that we could be improving, what it does most for me is give me the confidence in, in my work because I've never had feedback from other adults in my settings really um, because I've always worked alone. Uh, so to have other professionals who work in the field who are experienced giving me uh, feedback on my practice is really useful to me.